Here we have a very simple worksheet. Excel allows you to jump to the end of the worksheet by pressing Control and End. If we do that with my simple worksheet, the cursor jumps to D5. This is a helpful navigational tool. Unfortunately, it is easy to get confused. Let's move the cursor to a cell well away from the current data and enter a number. Now, Control N naturally jumps to that cell. This is exactly what you would expect. Now, let's delete that number. Now, the end of the worksheet is back to D5, or is it? If I press Control N, the cursor continues to go to that blank cell and not D5. Let's try clearing and deleting the extra rows and columns. Control N still takes me to that O cell and not D5. This is not just annoying, it is also wasteful since this affects the file size. And, of course, it makes navigation more difficult. However, it is quick and easy to reset the end of the worksheet. This uses a macro command, but you do not need to understand the command to use it. First, press Alt-11 to open up the macro window. Down at the bottom, you will see a window labeled Immediate. This is all we plan to use. Put the cursor in that window and enter Active Sheet, period, used range, all without any spaces. And to press Enter. It looks like nothing happened, but it did. Now, just press on the X at the top right of this window to close it. Now, press Control End. As you can see, the end of the worksheet has been reset to D5. That's all there is to it.